Now that we have our basic box with a few features, we're going to go in and work on the lid to make it uh, fit snap down over the top of the box. For now, we're going to hide the box and unhide the lid. We'll start off by making a sketch on the top of the lid and we'll use an offset to move it out a couple of millimeters in each direction easily so that we can make longer sides that will go over the outside of the box and fit. You'll see this in just a second. So the sketch curves we want are chained so we select all of them as you can see here with the blue line. We click that and it defaults to one millimeter. We're going to make that two millimeters and then we're going to extrude it what we just sketched by hitting E on our keyboard and we see it's going up we actually want this to go down so we go minus 5 and note that we're joining this extrusion to the existing lid and we hit OK. By making it 5 we have a 3 millimeter wall inside wall on the lip of our lid. Let's go back to the home position and show the box and if we do a section analysis just really quickly on one end, we can see that that fits extremely tight. And for a friction fit, that is fine, but those aren't reliable. They can get loose over time, or they can be so tight that they're difficult to remove if you want to open the box back up. So let's cancel that, and we'll hide the box again. And now we'll go back into this sketch we made, and we'll edit that sketch. Instead of 2 millimeters, we'll make this 2.2 millimeters. That gives us a little bit of clearance on either side. Uh, we have one more step we need to do. Let's go back in here, create a sketch on that new lip we just made. It's 3 millimeters from here to here, and it is 50.4 millimeters from here to here and from here to here. We want that 0.2 millimeter clearance on either side, uh, this side, this side, this side, and this side of that lip so that we have a little clearance in the box. So let's go back in here and use our offset tool again since we've selected that we're sketching here. And let's move that out two millimeters. In this case, minus two millimeters, I'm sorry, minus 0.2 millimeters. And if we zoom in, we can see that that sketch is 0.2 millimeter, millimeters thick. So let's extrude that again. And let's go to the object down here and hit OK. Go back to our home position, select the box, turn on section analysis real quick. And we can see that we have a 0.2 millimeter gap here, which gives us a little bit of room. It's no longer a friction fit. It will just fall off if we left it this way and made the box. So the next step we want to do is make some tabs for this so that it will snap onto the box itself. Let's hide the box again real quick. Get our orientation here and go to the right side and left side front and back, and we'll create a new sketch here. Let's do it on this wall. It flips it around on us, so we just have to get our orientation correct again. Look at the side we're working on, and let's create just a simple square. We can see that it's anchored to this line by the blue dashed lines, and let's make this three millimeters by, now we have a 46 millimeter inside wall, 46.4 actually. Let's make that uh, 20 millimeters by 3 millimeters. And as we did in our box sketch, we hit L for create a line, X because we wanted the construction line, find the center of what we just sketched to the center of the span of this inside wall, select our horizontal vertical tool, and line it up. Now this sketch is centered on this wall. Next thing we want to do is we want to extrude that on a two millimeter wall 
which is the walls of the box, I like to use a three millimeter extrusion. However, that will go past the inside of the walls, so we want to taper that by making it at a negative 45 degree angle, and it gives us kind of an elongated pyramid shape or triangular shape. Now we want to construct a mid plane that we can mirror this feature off of so that we don't have to resketch it and realign it on the opposite side. So we'll create a mid plane between here and here. This is where we'll be mirroring that uh, elongated pyramid. Note that uh, our mid plane doesn't go all the way over. That's okay. The only reason it does that is because we already have a feature here, but it will still mirror just fine. So we select, hit OK. We notice that plane 4 is active. And now we go to our mirror tool. Make sure the type of thing that we're mirroring is a feature, not a face or a body or components. We're just doing simple features. And then the object to select is that feature that we just created. And our mirror plane is the plane number 4 that we just created. And we can see we have a matching uh, elongated pyramid tab here. Hit OK. Turn off our plane. Go back to our home position. And let's look at the box. Look inside real quick. And we see a problem. Where are our tabs? Well, let's hit cancel. And let's look at this side. Here we can see, if we zoom in, that as we look back, it becomes solid again here. There's nothing for this to go into. So we have to make a recess for that to fit into on the outside of the box. So let's cancel this uh, inspection. Let's go back and look at just our lid. and our tabs are here and here. I like to go back to the home position quite often, make sure I have my orientation correct, turn on the box, don't forget where we have our tabs, front and back basically, and let's go back to the box. And now similarly we want to create a sketch on this wall. And it's going to be the same dimensions as the one we made for the tab. Make sure we're writing the line here on this wall. And let's go 20 by recall 3. L on the keyboard for a line. X to make a construction. Find the center of what we just sketched to the center of the wall. Click it to anchor it. Select our horizontal alignment. Click the dotted line. And there we have this lined up in the center, the same size as the tabs that we made. So we want to extrude this. The tab is going to go into it. So we actually want to go negative 3 millimeters. And that is going to leave our tab with nothing to catch on. So if we go back into this extrusion and edit it, we hit tab twice and make it negative 45 degrees. Now when we put our tabs on, this edge is still square, so we want to recess that a little bit, chamfer it down, so that our tab will slide in a bit easier, but still not be too loose. So we select chamfer, select the edge that we want to chamfer, and for a 3 millimeter deep wall, uh, deep uh, tab uh, receptacle, I'm going to make that 0.6 millimeters. Now that looks like a lot, but we're zoomed in. You know, that's not even one millimeter. It's not going to affect the surface area here and here for our tab to catch on. Then we want to construct a new mid plane between this wall and this wall. Hit OK. And now we can use our mirror function features. Notice the plural features. We've got a couple features here we want to capture. We want to capture that inverted pyramid as well as that chamfer we just made. That way we're going to mirror both of those. 
our mirror plane is here hit OK get our plane out of the way and we see that we have a mirror image on this side if we go back to our home orientation turn on our lid let's do a section analysis just to see what this looks like we're going back we don't see our tabs yet and there they are so we have 0.2 millimeter clearance on the tab it'll move 0.2 millimeters uh, but it'll still hold it securely and that's hardly noticeable this chamfer just gives this point something to ride down over whenever we 3d print this for example and snap into the the slot that we made for the tab so let's cancel that section analysis and now we have a basic box let's go back to the home orientation and one thing that's kind of neat to do is we can use M on the keyboard for move make sure we're selecting bodies the object we want to move is a body hit the up arrow key and let's just move it off the top by let's say 10 millimeters and that way when we're rotating this around we can get a little better idea of where the pieces fit together so now let's make it a little bit prettier let's uh, start with the box I like uh, fillets on things so we're gonna fillet these outside corners instead of being square we're gonna round those off on something with a two millimeter wall you can go two or three millimeters on your fillet we'll just make it two similarly because our lid is going to fit down over this we can go back to our lid and let's fill out these corners a matching amount make that two millimeters let's go back home and this if we look at the box now we have rounded edges and a square corners on the lid so let's fill up those as well to two millimeters we can move our lid back down let's do minus 10 millimeters the opposite of what we raised it up and there's our box that's a bit nicer looking we can do some additional details on it but these are the basics of it and this video is getting a bit long I'll uh, clean up some other things that I like to do just to improve the appearance and make that in another video.